It is springtime in the garden. There are so many beautiful flowers out. I am gonna go and check my bees for the first time since they woke up from spring. They don't hibernate, they didn't wake up, but they all go into a little ball during winter and they don't need so much attention. But then when spring comes, they're buzzing around. We just go in periodically and make sure they're okay. We're gonna go and check to see that everything's happy and healthy inside the hive. We're gonna check that we see the queen or presence of the queen. I can never find my queen. I got stung through a broken bee suit at the end of last year and it really spooked me. This is my first time doing a full hive inspection since I got stung. But I have a proper full bee suit back again. So I think I'm feeling good. And then we also added some new, very sweet little animals to our home. Yesterday, we drove a long way to get them, but we brought them home and I will show you those after we hop down here and check the bees. Let's go down to the hive and then we'll come back and meet the other animals. We're gonna start by just taking the lid off. Setting that. They've completely finished the feed that I put in there for them. So we can see in here. I'm gonna take out this. At this point, they're all gonna realize that I'm in their hive. I've got a feeder in here that I put in at the beginning of the winter, which I'm gonna start by taking this out. Just hadn't taken that out. Every little tickle freaks me out. Okay. If we can see the presence of eggs, that means we have a queen. So I'm starting with the outside frame here. They're all gonna get really excited. So you can see here, we've got some comb they're building out. There's a little extra piece on here. And then some of the cells have some pollen, but there's not, there's not a ton going on in there. So we're gonna pop that back in here and look at the next frame. This is challenging my nerves. After those stings, having a bee inside your bee suit is not a whole lot of fun. So this next frame has a lot more bees on it. There's a number of different kinds of cell going on here. So you can see these more orange cells are capped brood, so baby bees. And then down here, you can see larvae in there. So there's some larvae there. So I'm seeing larvae, I'm seeing capped brood. These are the different stages of the life of a bee. I think I can just see some eggs in here. And come in for this middle frame, which is where the queen is most likely to be. We've still got some um, we've still got some elastic bands on here. This colony was taken from the wild somewhere they were not wanted. So I'm seeing a lot of brood in there. I'm not going to look for a queen. I don't see her. But there's a lot of brood and I can see they're starting to make honey in there as well. Staying calm. When you hold the comb up to the light, you see these tiny little like pieces of rice in the cells. And I'm just seeing some in here. You can see in here the larvae in those cells there. I'm pausing this here because I didn't see it in the moment, but when I was editing, I could actually see those eggs really clearly. You can see the tiny little thin grain of rice in those cells, which will then become the larvae and then get capped off and then it will be a new bee. So the eggs have hatched, their larvae, they're gonna grow into little bees. And then down here, we can see kind of here where my finger is, if you can see the glistening, we're seeing some honey stores. They will have finished the winter with no honey stores at all, most likely. They have eaten through the package that I gave them. So this was full of a fondant, I think a kilogram of fondant. Yeah, a kilogram of fondant. They've eaten the whole thing. 
So they probably got pretty much no, they had no reserves. They're beginning to build that back up. So I'm gonna shut them back up now. We're gonna just pull all of these close together. Top back on. Okay. And the space will let me come in and give them some more food later on, which can help them early in the season. And then later on in the season, this is where the frames will go, where they'll build honey for us. Come on, out you go. Okay, so hive check done. I've done a quick 360 of my reflection to make sure there's no bees on me. And honestly, that was really good for my confidence. To go back in, be in the middle of bees, not get stung. Check the hive. And it's always good to see that they've made it through winter. That it's looking good. What animals are we gonna show them? What animals did we bring home this weekend? Ducks. Oh yeah, we did. This is who we brought home this weekend. If we get ducklings. Here they are. We've picked up five little ducklings. Don't let them pop out. They're in there. We got ducklings, it was fun. <laughs> it was fun, it was also an adventure. This is us halfway home charging the car. We drove about 200 miles to pick up these ducklings because I could not find them anywhere near us. I wanted to make sure that I was getting girls or four girls and a boy because when you don't know, you then run the risk of ending up with all boys down the track, which happened to us with chickens and I did not want to see happen our first time with ducks. I'll let you hold one in a second. We just cleaned out that little enclosure and we're gonna pop them all back in. We have got four little Khaki Campbell girls and you can have a duckling in a minute and a Cherry Campbell, Cherry Valley Drake. So five overall. And they're going back in their enclosure. They're gonna get a bigger enclosure tomorrow. But for now, they're just in this plastic tub. Hello. They're ducklings. <laughs> These are ducklings, aren't they? We first got chickens when we lived in California. Then we got more when we came to England. And when we moved house, our chickens stayed with my parents and they live there now. And so we're gonna add some ducks and some chickens. And you wanna go be with your friends? So these are our new little friends. Oh, you wanna go join your friends? Okay, here we go. So they've got a heat lamp to keep them warm for the first few weeks. I have a duckling. Oh. Give it a tiny stroke on its head, just like one little finger. There we go. Are you gonna go get them some more food from the front door? 